Welcome to Beer Barbecue Baseball. Today I have Founders Unraveled IPA. Really cool can there. As you can see, it's a, a hop cone wrapped around in orange. So uh, this I'm guessing is going to be a juicy IPA. It does say Juicy India Pale Ale on the bottom of the can. It is 6.6% alcohol by volume with 50 IBUs. So again, really cool can. Enjoy it. Uh, it says it's canned on, I think this is 211 of 2020. So what do we got here? Usually it's about a three month span for IPAs and then they start to get a little malty. So we got March, April, May. We're in good shape here. So I'm in April now as it is today. So again by Founders, brewed out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Let's get it open. I don't usually get any uh, water vapor or smoke on a can for some reason, but I can smell this beer now. It smells good. It smells phenomenal. Nice, frothy head with big bubbles. Look at that. It is supposed to be dry hopped uh, with traditional hop pellets and uh, along with lupulin powder. So if you want to know about lupulin powder, Google it, read it because it's a little bit over my head. It smells fantastic. It's uh, it's not overwhelmingly powerful aroma, but it smells a little juicy. Maybe a little tropical and sweet. So good looking beer. Not completely hazy, but you can see my fingers. Okay. This is really good. It's juicy. You can definitely get the hops in the back of your... Actually, you get it from front end to back end. It does finish off pretty dry. I'm not sure what, what hop pellets they used in this, what hops they used, uh, but I'll find out and put that in the description for you. Real nice lacing. I'm gonna guess there's Hmm. I'm going to say Chinook for sure. You definitely get a little bit of a juicy, zesty flavor with this. But the finish... Finish is kind of piney, and I'm pretty sure that's the Chinook hops. Memory serves me right. I may be wrong. There's definitely sweet aroma. It doesn't, doesn't look like there's any sediment in the bottom of it, so... Yeah, it didn't get it didn't darken up after pouring that last bit in there, but this is a good beer.
kind of resembling resembles the um, the other one they did. What was that? The um, Saint Lupulin or something like that. But this is good. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. And I would buy this again. It's 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 delicious. So it brings that juiciness and the dryness. So you're getting kind of the best of both worlds of the northeastern IPA and the West Coast IPA all in one. Uh, I like it. It's good. So if you had this, let me know what you think. If not, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.